I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know so and so, they like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting good and my flow been like butter, my. So, if you have a Malinois, pro tip, get them horse toys. No? Place. There you go. Alright guys, so I just got back from uh, from a trip here in the States. So this trip was a nice quick, it was 27 hours we were gone for. So we were literally only gone 27 hours. We flew commercial. It was to a music festival. Um, and uh, it, it was just kind of a nice back and I, I showed Byron how little I took with me and this wasn't something I necessarily challenged myself to do. I just really like having this small bag with me the whole time and uh, as I was packing up the backpack, I'm like, man, I don't want to carry this thing around the festival and stuff and I wanted to have a little bag on me while I was at the festival and we were going all carry on. And I have rollers and stuff like that that I can pack but I just, it was such a quick trip there and back. Um, that I, I ended up just packing this small little to me bag. So Byron was like, why don't you go ahead and show everybody uh, what you packed in here and how you packed it. So um, again, I was flying commercial. Uh, when I arrived on the ground there, I was, uh, I had a team that I got to work with on the ground, amazing group of individuals, uh, some government guys that I got to work with and they helped me out and they actually, because of the state we were in, uh, it was legal for me. They gave me a Glock 19 when I arrived. <clears throat> I wasn't able to test fire it or anything like that. I did take it to my room right when I got there and dry fired it a little bit. But uh, for the most part, this was what it was. I had to go with it and trust them. So in this bag, what I packed, um, we'll just kind of start here from the outside. Uh, so in this Toomey bag here, um, I have this large zipper pouch here. It's actually insulated a tad and I can put a water bottle in there. But for the flight, I threw my wallet in there because my wallet's a bit thick. Um, I keep quite a bit of creds in here and such. And I have a pen and a highlighter. So the highlighter was for, I was given a map of the area as well as set times and whatnot. So I just kind of went through the highlighter, uh, went over our route, our ingress and egress that the guys were bringing us in and out of. Uh, we had a one car motorcade which was great, but then we had a chase vehicle getting us into the, uh, the property, which was, which was nice to have. But um, to and from the hotel and such, uh, just one vehicle with the driver. Um, that's it for that pocket. When I was at the um, event, I kept a bottle of water there for the boss, for my client. Uh, other small pocket here, I had my, my little Apple earbuds, which is what we were using for comms. Um, and I have, okay, so I took this My Charge. Uh, I don't know who makes it, it's made by My Charge. Uh, I bought this in the airport. I've had tons of these things and this one's been the best. It has a uh, USB compact and then the Apple uh, iPhone charger cable connected to it. It charges at two amps, so it's like an iPad charger and I can plug it into the wall and it will charge my phone, iPad, etc., etc., that I have with me uh, while it's plugged into the wall and keeping it charged. Let's see, everything is fully charged up right now for the rest of my day and I'm at full battery. So I did pretty good. The only thing that's really low is my iPad because I was watching movies on the way home. Uh, and the rest of this bag, so that's that there. Oh, um, little business card holder, little Prada wallet my wife gave me. Um, and I have my business cards as well as my clients' business cards in this wallet. What else is in here? Oh, uh, we parked at the airport. Um, we didn't have people drive us or anything, so it was so quick. Uh, I used this little chain here to put the keys, and I just kept the keys in here to our vehicle that we parked at the airport. That's it for that pouch. What's in this one? Oh, another highlighter and uh, a cool patch I can't show you guys. Uh, another highlighter, 
And that's it for that pouch, nothing in there. And this open pouch here, where do we got? Jeez. All that's in here is my flashlight, and that's it. Uh, my flashlight I took with me was a vampire, a V1 vampire from Surefire. Uh, not that I needed it for night vision, it's just, it's my handheld because I do run nods a lot. So, kind of all the lights I've been buying lately have been of the vampire series. Uh, in the main pocket, we have, these are the Bose noise canceling headphones. They're wired. Um, I like taking wired because uh, <laughs> fly first class a lot and we have the big screens right there. I can just watch movies. So I like being able to plug into something. I don't always run Bluetooths. I like to have both, but this is my second pair of these. My dog ate a pair, uh, but this is my second pair of these. I bought these on my last overseas trip at the airport at full pop. I'm sure I could have got them a lot cheaper elsewhere, but it was like, you know what? I want these. I also don't like the headphones cause for me, my ears start to ache and um, also, uh, you can't have a problem sleeping with them. So uh, they don't feel as comfortable as these do uh, on the plane. In here, I always have a camera on me. This is my Sony uh, A6500 with a little 2.8 Zeiss 35 millimeter lens. Uh, this just kind of goes everywhere with me. I've said it before a couple times. I do a little semi-pro photography work from time to time, but I always like having a camera on me and my client loved it because I got some great shots of him. Um, not only why he was uh, doing his thing he was there to do, but uh, with some of the bands and such as well. So that was shoved in here. Um, and then my clothes. I wore this Ruka button up shirt. It's all wrinkled now. <laughs> and oof, socks, underwear, t-shirt I wore yesterday. Um, past that is my iPad Pro. Um, I don't travel as much with a computer anymore. Uh, I love this iPad Pro. I can do pretty much everything I need to do on a computer on this. And I have this nice little Bluetooth keyboard along with it so I can type out advances and, and things like that. Longer trips, I'll bring both. Um, but the majority of the time on the flight, what I wanna have quick is, is this. I had movies on here, I had a couple podcasts on here I listened to on my flights and uh, I didn't charge this the whole time and I'm at 10% and that was using it on both flights over last night sitting in the hotel um, and uh, you know it's worked great so there's that what else and then last but not least this is my um, kind of my my I call it my boss kit it has a bunch of things in here that he needs all the time just a couple spare things uh, Claritin D, um, his contact, he wears a contact one in one eye. I have a couple spares. I have the kind of eye drops he likes to use. I have those in here, um, as well as, I'll cut to it here. I have a little boo-boo kit from CVS. And then I have my, uh, my kind of compact eye fac here. And who makes this? This is made by Unconventional, no, this is made by Northern American Re Rescue. Uh, it's their individual aid kit, pretty small, pretty compact. It has compression gauze, a flat emergency trauma dressing, uh, another thing of gauze, a uh, roll of surgical tape, and a SWAT T tourniquet. So that's what's in this thing. Um, nice little. Nice little thing, all kind of fits in this little mag pole. What do they call these, DACA? I think called DACA pouches. So uh, that's that's it, that's all I took with me on this trip, y'all. Uh, I wore the same jeans, these are a pair of G-Star jeans. Uh, this little 511 t-shirt hoodie worked really great being on the plane. And uh, I'm wearing <laughs> Nike uh, Element 87 Reacts. These shoes are really comfortable and they look cool. So, uh, huge security contingency there. Didn't want to stick out with my boss. I didn't want it seeming like he had a security guy with him. So that's why I dressed down. Everybody else in that area was, I mean, it was like, uh, 
you could spot them. But there, were, there was a lot of exposed carry guys, which was great. Huge security team there. They were all super cool to me, really nice guys. Uh, they had a bunch of canines there, which I love seeing the privatization of canines now. Um, canine bomb guys starting to be hired out. Uh, hopefully that's something Byron will get on a podcast sooner or later. But um, the guys that I met out there, they were actually all California guys, really good dudes. We knew a lot of the same people. Um, they know the guy who trained my dog really well. So um, yeah, it was it was good. But I, um, you know, most of those guys didn't know I was actually security, but I was also acting in a um, executive uh, assistant format as well when I do these small little quick trips with him. So I packed light, that's what I decided to do. I, I can't think of the time where I was missing something. Um, you know, I, I didn't need much and uh, I, just I just checked in with this thing on my back, threw it in. Um, I might have to go bigger if I had to bring a little bit more equipment, but uh, I was really happy with, uh, with the setup this time. This little Tumi bag worked great. And also, this is, I only fly with this bag, so I never put any firearms stuff in that bag. This bag right here is my everyday go everywhere bag. Um, and I've got guns in here, I've got ammo in here, etc., etc. So all the time, from time to time. So I've literally had TSA find bullets in every crooks and crevice you could imagine in a bag I had a liner one time of a backpack that was split and a bullet had slid under that liner and up and I used to be really good about searching all my stuff all the time but they found that bullet in there and you know boom I lost my TSA pre for a year so don't let that happen to you I highly recommend having multiple having bags that you travel with that you fly with commercial and then having your your at home stuff uh, I know so many professionals that have been doing this for a long time that have had bad accidents, firearms, magazines, knives, and then they lose them, you know, and that sucks. And then you lose your TSA pre and all that other fun stuff. So uh, don't make that mistake, guys. Just get a secondary bag and then just kind of dedicate that to your travel. So anyway, hope you guys are good. Stay safe out there. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Take care. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect.